Team World, I wanted to give you a quick demo of the new buy and list and offer features uh, of SUP. Uh, this window that you see here is accessible by clicking on the little lightning bolt on the object details screen. And what I'm demonstrating is a, uh, you see, I have a twitter.com uh, URN domain that I registered uh, earlier this year in January, and I created 999 million units <laughs> of this object back then. Uh, and so I've already listed a million of them here earlier, so you could see some listings. Uh, so you can see that this was a listing from the primary pool of 999,999 because I actually bought one earlier just uh, to test that. But I originally listed a million of them. Uh, so to test this, uh, oh, uh, also you'll see here on the left we have the in-memory pending transactions. This is the uh, magic sauce. This is going to, uh, if you look at the bottom uh, here, you'll see a, it refreshes green every once in a while because it's constantly monitoring this uh, memory space for new things. And also when you launch it for the first time, it will find any current uh, pending transactions and it will populate this list. They'll stay on this list until they are confirmed. So if you have things that are there for days uh, or minutes, you know they'll just kind of stay on this list until they leave the memory. All right, uh, so we'll start off with buying something. Uh, so I'm going to actually buy one of these uh, primary uh, objects. I'm going to click on it uh, here, which will let me get to the, uh, the memory, or let me copy the actual address here in my memory. Yes, all right. Uh, looks like I have this box isn't big enough for you to see the entire address, but basically since this is primary, I am buying it from itself. So the address here is the address of the object, and out of those 999 million, I want to get 10 of them. Uh, and the cost is 0.00001, so we'll do that, 0.0001. All right, and we'll hit the buy. Ah. You see over here it says invalid address because I have not told it who's buying. So I have to grab my signature address here. Let's paste that in there. There. Now when I click on the buy, it'll give me the uh, cost estimate. Uh, so it's going to include uh, the cost of, uh, of the quantity as well as the cost of the transaction. But uh, it doesn't quite know what the minor fees is, so it'll tell you the plus minor fee here. And we'll hit buy again. It's giving me a prompt. Are you sure you want to buy this? We'll say yes. And you hear a beeping. That is actually my uh, Bitcoin wallet beeping. And now you can show, it now shows up here in the in-memory pending transactions as a buy of 10 from me and B for you of the primary. And this will remain on the box until, on the list until it confirms. Cool. So now we'll uh, demonstrate uh, creating an, a, uh, uh, an offering. So to create an offer, uh, let's see, you would have to, since there is already listings of primaries, if you try to create an offer that's not the value of this or, or less, it's just going to be a failed transaction since there is a listing. Uh, if there isn't a listing and you create uh, buy transactions, it'll create an offer. So uh, we do not have a listing currently here from uh, my account, but my account does have, uh, does currently own these things, owns one of them. So I'm going to make an offer on the one that I own. I can't make an offer to myself, so I'm going to change the signature address to a different address. I'm going to try it. the BitFossil address. Oopsie. Let's look that up. Bit fossil. Here it is. I'm grabbing that. And we'll put the bit fossil address in here. So now I am going to create an offer to my EMBII for you address from my bit fossil address. And I want one of these. And I'm going to offer uh, less than what is here. Not for this much to my own. Cool. <clears throat> and we'll hit the buy transaction again. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. 
All right, now we will have a buy transaction. In this screen, uh, it doesn't know the order of when these will confirm, so it will um, uh, it will just show as a buy. But when this does confirm, since uh, that, at that time it does an analysis of the current state, it'll see that there was no listings when it does confirm, and it will create this as an offer here in the middle. All right, so to create a listing, similar, uh, let's take my uh, EMBII for you address, because I do have one. And I'm going to make a listing of one and at the cost of one Bitcoin each. And we'll say list. I'm just going to give you the cost estimate here on the top. It's asking me, do I want to? I'll say yes. And now it's listing this one. Which should show up here on the screen as well. Cool. And these little animated GIF sub images, if you uh, were friends with any of these people, their pictures would show up here instead of the sub animated GIF. So the sub animated GIF is just uh, kind of something to show you that uh, these are not people you're currently uh, following. All right. And that's basically uh, the screen. Uh, to refresh these, uh, once these uh, are done, they'll drop off the list. And then to refresh the current listings or the non-refundable offers, you have to double-click the titles, and it will refresh them. All right. Have a great day. I hope to see you testing and experimenting with the trustless uh, fee-free because you're only being charged the cost of uh, what it takes to create the transaction. There is no fees going to HugBuddle or any uh, service fees involved at all. The only... Service fees are going to the miners for mining, uh, for doing what miners do on the blockchains. <laughs> All right. Have a great day.